Jasa Cube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw my Jasa Cube Pocahontas. So let's get started. With Pocahontas, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So by right here, we're going to be drawing a wide U. So come down right here. Come down and draw. Why do you? I'm going to go to the other side. And connect it. Like that. And so now we've got this Y do U. Let's go up to the center. Come up here to the center and come over a little bit. But right there, you can make a little point. And we're going to connect it back down to this point where we ended. So come down. And we're going to connect it like that. And so with this point right here, we're going to draw a curve that comes all the way out for her hair. So this is the top of her, um, her hairline. So come down, meet up with this point, and drag it out like that. So you kind of drew kind of like a teardrop shape almost. <laughs> and so now let's uh, draw the top of her hair so this doesn't look too weird. So come out at an angle right there and we're just going to draw a curve up and bring it down for the her hair on the side and right here same point go up and go all the way and then bring it down like that so right here you can just put a little point right here for her hairline where it parts and so now let's go in and just draw her face first before we finish up her hair and her outfit so we're going to give her two big draw so cute eyes so right here I'm going to draw a circle, one and another one. And draw so cute eyes, have two small circles inside for highlights and a curve line at the bottom. So let's shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. Like that. And so, same thing other side. Two small circles and curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So one by one, I'm drawing all these Disney princesses. So my Disney princess playlist is getting more and more princesses. <laughs> and I'm very, very happy to be drawing them for you guys because I know you guys love all these princesses. And so now we have these eyes in. Let's go and give her her beautiful lashes. So come at the top right here, and we're gonna draw a lash that comes out like that, and come back in to make it thicker. And one more, come out and bring it back in like that. So let's do the same thing on the other side. Come out, curve, bring it in, and another one it in for her lashes and let's give her her eyebrows so they're very soft eyebrows so right here we're just going to draw a curve comes down like that so let's do the same thing other side curve and bring it in like that and of course let's give her a very cute little smile so right here in the center draw a little curve like that and you can cap it off to lines so that's for our little Pocahontas face. And so now let's finish her um, body before we finish up her hair. So right here, we're gonna draw in the center, draw a curve like that. And we're gonna be drawing her necklace basically. So come out more and we're basically just gonna follow the same curve that we just drew and connect it like that. And so find the center once again. And right here, just draw a line and that's where her little pendant, and so we're just going to draw a little pendant like that for Pocahontas for her necklace. And so come out right here, we're going to draw her shoulders first. So come out, and we're just going to draw a curve, rounds out like that for the beginnings of her shoulder and her arms. So same thing on the other side, like that. And so come down again, find the center, and put a point right there. And we're going to flare it, curve it out for the top of her outfit, for her dress. So curve it out. Curve it out. Oops, this one is a little bit too short. But kind of like that, same as the other side. And from this point right here, we're going to 
come up for the strap of her dress that's on one shoulder. And so now from this point, we can come down to draw our usual angles for all my Draw So Cute girls. So right here, before we come down to this line, because I'm using a Sharpie, I can't erase. But if you could erase, if you're using a pencil, just imagine this line, the same as the other side coming down. So I'm just gonna draw it real quick like that. And so in here, we're gonna be drawing those, um, I think they're called tassels that hang out. So the center point, draw two lines that come out like that. And we're gonna draw a curve that follows the top one and go up like that. And so same thing, the bottom, we're gonna do the same thing, follow the top curve and go up. So right here, you can just connect it back. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So it's follow the top curve and follow the top curve again. So basically that's just those little tassels that hang off of her dress. And so once again, find the center right there. And we're gonna draw two curved lines that go up for the middle of her dress. Like that. And you can draw another one just for like a band in her dress. The Sharpie's so thick. Oh, <laughs> but you get the idea, right? So now from right here, we're just gonna flare it out a little bit. It's a very soft curve like that for her dress. So the bottom of her dress, so flare it out. And so now let's just go back in and draw her hand. So same uh, usual draw so cute, very simple draw so cute eyes that come out. So continue this line, flare it out, and bring it back in for her fingers. Come out again, shorter for her thumbs, and go back in. So same thing, other side, come down, flare it out, make sure it's about the same, and come back in, out, and bring it back in for her arms. So now right here, let's find the center again. So come down, right there, put a point, and we're gonna connect it with a curve. So from this point, we're gonna be drawing the bottom of her dress. So go up to that point, and right here, let's flare it out for more of those uh, frills that kind of hang out off of her dress. And so we're just gonna draw, uh, follow this curve right here, but come down, but instead of just smooth, we're gonna break it up a little bit. So come in, like that, come out, very random, and come out. And so same thing, it's very random, here and there, add, something that goes out. So this is basically a shape that we just kind of V like that. And I'm gonna go in and give um, more details with a thinner Sharpie later. But let's draw the main things first. So come out front center right here, come over a little bit, and we're gonna draw a curve, comes down like that and flares out a little bit. This part right here is gonna be for your toe. So come out over here and curve, and we're gonna meet it up and connect it with a curve. So that's basically her toes right here. And so on this side, I just have her foot kind of, uh, this is a little bit cuter the way she's kind of standing. It's kind of awkward, but cute. <laughs> so come out right here. We're gonna draw angle curve, bring it out. So same thing right here, come out and bring it in. And you're gonna flare it out like right here for her heel. Come back in, and we're just gonna connect it with a curve, like that. So just imagine these are toes, so it kind of flares out a little bit, and these are all the little toes in there, and then comes out for the heel, and goes back in. So a little bit complicated, but you guys can do it for sure. Just keep practicing, okay? And so now let's go in and finish up her hair. So this line, just imagine going all the way, so just continue it all the way and for right here, this line right here indicates a little point right here that I'm gonna draw her hair. So come out and we're gonna flare it out, 
because her hair is blowing in the wind. <laughs> and we're gonna bring it back into that point and come out. And we're gonna bring it all the way back in. So come in, curve it in, come out under her hand. And imagine it's all the way over like that. So there. So now let's go in with my thinner Sharpie. And we're gonna draw some details. And right here. So, oops, I forgot her ears, didn't I? I seem to do that a lot. <laughs> so come here and we're just gonna draw a curve. And it's gonna show up on the other side too. So like that. And right here, just for some details, a curve and a curve. Let's see here, I see a little bit like that. And so for Pocahontas, she has a little tattoo right here on her arm. So I'm just gonna draw a curve and a very simple, just zigzag it up and down like that. And so for these little um, tassels that kind of hang out, you can just draw these lines like that. So very random, just to indicate some long, some short, like that. And same thing at the bottom. So right here. And so see how I'm angling this because it's going this way and I'm gonna angle the lines going that way. So don't make them all straight. So I'm angling these lines this way to follow the curve. It's just very random like that. So now it looks like little um, tassels are hanging off of her um, dress like that. So there, oh, I'm done <laughs> with our Pocahontas. Hope you liked how she turned out. Thanks so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, make sure to subscribe to get updates for more Draw So Cute videos.